All right, it's recording. Hey everyone. So this video is about my first week as a full-time developer. Um, so there are a few things, a few goals for this video. Um, one, I'm gonna try to look at the camera more often. Um, apparently I can't minimize the camera and look at a script. Uh, which would be extremely helpful. So that's okay. I'm gonna forget a lot of things and you'll see a lot of clips put together But um, yeah, anyways, I just want to talk about it. I know I have watched multiple <laughs> Versions of this kind of video um, When I was trying to get that full-time position and I found it really really helpful and kind of just what to expect the first week um, But basically it's exactly what I expected um, so kind of just first couple of days, they gave me a company laptop and I got to set up the local environment, ask any questions about it. Um, but mainly my first week was really about pretty much three things, setting up everything locally on the laptop and getting comfortable with it. Um, that's one. And then two, getting to meet more people on the team. Um, and kind of just understanding my role a little bit more and how um, I guess it intertwines with other departments. Um, so definitely got a lot of meet and greets. Um, towards the end of the week, I got a little bit more meetings. Um, hopped in the demo. My boss, he's kind of the other UI guy and he gave uh, a demo on kind of a newer project they've been working on. And so I got a good feel for kind of how they do their demo process, especially if it's um, kind of a bigger feature, or multiple features, sorry, B, um, that are being implemented. And so got to watch my boss take in a lot of feedback and um, he kind of just went in and recoded a few things to kind of meet the needs of um, the design and UX team. And um, then I just did a code review on that on Friday. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it was a really good week. It's kind of just getting to know my team, getting comfortable with the environment and the code base. And so, yeah, I think I was hired because of my experience with React and Redux, but I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time getting comfortable with the Django and kind of just some of their old code base. Um, a lot of their, I guess, immediate projects are gonna require me to get comfortable with the code base. So while React and Redux is in the future for this year, um, I'm gonna be working on multiple projects. But basically, it kind of just started out tackling simple issues. Um, and then I think it, what it's gonna do is, my boss is just gonna give me progressively more and more complex. Um, the, the ramping up process to get me comfortable with everything, it's, it's very modest. It's actually, uh, it's kind of slow, which is nice. It gives me a lot of time to ask questions. It gives me a lot of time to get comfortable with kind of just how to tackle issues. And um, like, for example, I had a blocker where I got a request to, um, it was really simple to actually code it out and just uh, implement it on the front end, but um, I didn't really have any of the variables given to me in the template. So I'd have a backend developer go ahead and set that up. But then I kind of just had to learn how to do that process and uh, request that work from a backend developer. But it's really cool. It was really fun, uh, very slow, simple week. Um, I definitely don't feel overwhelmed. Um, I was actually expecting a bit of that imposter syndrome, and I didn't really feel that at all this week. I mean, I kind of did, and well, I, I guess I did have some questions like, I mean, is my HTML semantically correct? Sorry. Um, am I focusing enough? I need to get like a stand so it stops wiggling. Um, but basically, is my code good enough? Um, and so I was kind of asking a lot of questions uh, for my boss about like how he chooses to organize things, kind of just so it's consistent. But overall, like, you know, kind of my initial thoughts um, with, you know, am I good enough for the position? Um, I guess I felt them a little bit, 
but just kind of looking at my role, um, you know, it's, it's kind of expected that I'm going to have a ramp up process and I'm going to have to get more comfortable with the position, but I feel really confident. Um, I honestly do feel really confident in the value that I provide them. Um, I know I'm going to have to grow quite a bit to, uh, and that's really just understanding how they do things, but, um, you know, tackling the first couple of issues and seeing that it was no big deal. It's, I'm excited for the next ones for the following week, but yeah, it was, um, uh, it was definitely a, a good first week. And I'm really looking forward to the second week. So kind of just initial thoughts and impressions with the uh, position. It's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, it's actually, we have a design team, we have a user experience team, and we have a back-end team. I mean, um, that's kind of what I understand. I know it's a little bit more co complex than that, but that's basically kind of how we're set up. And um, I actually, I've always wanted to be comfortable with kind of implementing an idea like starting from the idea doing the mock-ups and coming up with the content and the user stories then um, you know kind of like that whole user experience design process um, where I've been trying to improve and it's not necessarily my strength another team does that and then the back end kind of providing the um, just functionality that allows you to have a user base that allows you to save a lot of work um, a lot of data, getting comfortable with the back end. Um, that's not necessarily a strength for me, but I'm continuing to grow. That's handled. And so where I'm very strong with and focusing on kind of just um, coding it out on the front end, being comfortable with templating or uh, just any templating language. I mean, the one I'm using is slightly different than I'm used to, but kind of just being comfortable with tackling that and building out all the um, the HTML and CSS and JavaScript on the front end, I mean, that's what I'm good at. And that's what I'm going to continue getting better at, but that's my bread and butter. So it's uh, this position is exactly what I expected it to be. Um, I'm doing the work that I'm really good with, and I'm going to be able to grow and learn from kind of all these other departments that are going to help me with... Uh, well, not necessarily help me, but they're going to give me a lot of guidance and instruction for the user experience side and the back end side. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty lucky to have this position. Um, so I will do my best to kind of update you with how it's going. I'll do my best to give you less shaky videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good week and I'm looking forward to the next week. So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below and I'm happy to make more videos like this if you guys enjoy it. So thank you and have a great week. Take care, everyone.